everyone. This week we're gonna make some ice cream sundaes together. Doesn't that sound yummy? I wish we were really having ice cream sundaes together, but what I mean is <laughs> we're actually going to be drying and maybe even painting some ice cream sundaes together. So I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step to draw an ice cream sundae with two scoops and you can make any flavor ice cream you'd like and you can also put whatever topping you like. So this one has like a caramel topping. This one has like chocolate, chocolate fudge topping. You could also put strawberry topping, whatever you like. Um, and again, you're gonna be able to choose the flavor of ice cream that you want. If you have painting supplies at home, I'm just gonna show you a few examples of how I made this painting. So I hope you have fun. Let's get started. So here's a drawing of the ice cream sundae before it's colored or outlined. And I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So you need to turn your paper vertical or up and down like this, because it's gonna be tall. It's gonna be a tall ice cream sundae. And we're gonna start with that beautiful glass um, dish, the, the glass bowl that the ice cream sundae is in. So we're gonna start with a big circle near the bottom of the page. Nice big circle. It should be about the size of an apple or an orange, or you might think of it as the size of your fist. Nice and big. And then underneath there, we're gonna make a very small circle like that. So we have a big circle and a small circle. And underneath the small circle, we're gonna draw two lines that are angled. They're coming out on an angle. They're straight lines, but they're angled lines. And then we're gonna connect them with one curve line like this. So that's the base of our glass dish. That's the base. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to connect these circles. So I'm gonna trace over the edge of my circle and come down like that and just connect it like that. Okay, now at the top, I'm gonna curve out on both sides like this. So on this side, I'm gonna curve out and on the left side, I'm gonna curve up and out like that, two curved lines. And then I'm gonna connect from here to here with a wavy line. So here's my late wavy line, you ready? See how I made that wavy? So there is our ice cream dish. And now we can erase this top part of the circle. All right. So there's our dish, and we can also erase this part if you want to, or you can keep it there either way. Uh, and just for a little added touch, for a little decoration maybe on our glass dish or to really make it look like it's... Um, maybe crystal or um, etched glass. We're gonna draw a very tall, skinny oval. Very, very skinny, very tall. One there in the middle. And then we're gonna draw two curved shapes, just like this, only curved. So this one's gonna be curving to the right. So it's still a long, long, skinny oval but they're curving. So it's just a curved line like that. Okay, so there, we're done with our ice cream dish. Now, if you wanna draw a straight line for your table somewhere, maybe right around there, you can. 
So it looks like your ice cream sundae is sitting on a table. And now we're gonna draw the shape of our scoops of ice cream. So we're gonna make this a two scoop ice cream sundae. So if you want to start by drawing a big arched line, like a rainbow shape, we've used that, that line or that shape many times, haven't we? And did you notice that I didn't start it here? I raised it up a little bit and then I started it and I stopped before I got to the glass. That's because I'm gonna add a little curvy part right here. It kind of makes it look like the ice cream is dripping. It's about to drip over the edge a little bit or um, it just makes it look more like a scoop of ice cream. All right, so don't forget to um, draw lightly. Don't press hard with your pencil because you want to erase. We're going to want to erase this line in a minute because we're going to add another scoop of ice cream. So right above here, for our second scoop, we're going to draw another curved rainbow shape like this. Okay, but notice how it's not touching. It's not touching yet because I'm going to add that little curvy part. And now... This ice cream scoop is overlapping, so I'm gonna draw my wavy line right on top, and then I'm gonna erase this line. Now I'm going very quickly. You probably will not be able to go this fast, but that's okay, you can pause the video whenever you need to. In fact, right now might be a good time to pause the video so that you can catch up to where I am. So now we're gonna draw that cherry on top because what is a sundae without a cherry on top? We gotta have a cherry, right? So we're gonna draw a circle at the top of our ice cream sundae and we can erase that line that's in the middle. So again, we don't wanna press hard because if we press hard, then we won't be able to erase. So we have a circle and now I'm just gonna draw a little curved line, like a smile, just like that. And then out of that little curved line, I'm gonna draw my stem. So the stem, I'm gonna start at this little curved line and I'm gonna come up with a little curved line and I'm gonna make it kind of fat at the end like that and then I'm going to come down and make it very skinny. So there is the stem of my cherry. And now I'm going to draw some chocolate sauce or hot fudge or for you you might want to make it caramel or strawberry sauce. It can be any kind of sauce you want but we're just going to draw some wavy lines. Let me show you the other drawing again so you know what we're about to do. We're about to draw these wavy lines. So see how they're going up and down and up and down to make it look like the sauce is dripping down our ice cream. So down and up and down and up. Notice how they're different sizes too. Some are short, some are real long. So I wouldn't make them all the same size. You can make them different sizes. Okay, so our ice cream sundae is all done. And uh, now we're just going to outline it and color. And you're gonna be able to decide what flavor of ice cream you want. Okay, so this top scoop, I'm going to make this top scoop maybe chocolate. So I'm gonna outline it with brown and maybe it's chocolate with chocolate chips in it. So I'm going to draw little bits of chocolate. So they're either gonna be little squares or they don't all have to be the same shape. Sometimes they can just be a random shape like kind of a triangle and kind of a square. You know, when you have little bits of chocolate, they're all they're not all just perfect little shapes, right? So we're just gonna make some little 
marks with our brown marker like that. Maybe one more. So see how some look like squares, some look like triangles, and some just don't look like anything. They're just little random shapes. And then if this one is chocolate, we'd probably want to color it with a brown colored pencil. So here's my brown colored pencil. Now, another thing you could do is make this mint chocolate chip. And if you make it mint chocolate chip, then you could color it green, maybe with a color kind of like this, and like a soft, light green, like a mint colored green, and then put the chocolate chunks in there with your brown marker. Okay, so I would keep coloring this, which I'll do in a minute, but let me stop here and show you what I would do for the top. So if this is chocolate, maybe I don't want this to be chocolate too. Maybe I want that to be caramel. So if it's gonna be caramel, I'm gonna use maybe a color like this. This is tan. So I'm gonna use tan and I just have to sharpen my pencil real quick. And since I really don't have a tan marker, I'm just gonna kind of press, oops, not too hard, because then your pencil breaks. <laughs> I'm gonna press kind of hard with my pencil. On the edges, and then I'm gonna just color that in. Doesn't that look like caramel? That really looks like caramel. Boy, now I'm getting hungry for an ice cream sundae. <laughs> Maybe here I'd outline, I gotta go back to my brown marker. Where's my brown marker? Maybe I'd outline this with brown marker at the bottom so it stands out a little bit more. I just won't outline it at the top. Okay, so I'll finish coloring that in a minute. I'm gonna put it on fast motion in a minute and I'll finish coloring all this, but I'm just gonna go through each part and demonstrate how I'm going to color each thing. So this one is, this is gonna be the cherry. So the cherry is gonna be red. And I'm gonna color that with some colored pencil. And I'd probably do the stem in brown. <clears throat> okay, for this scoop of ice cream, how about vanilla with sprinkles? That might be a good idea. Does that sound good? So maybe I would outline this with brown, but I'm gonna keep it white, or if you don't wanna keep it white, because vanilla actually has a little bit of a ivory color to it, kind of like off-white or cream colored. So I have the perfect pencil for that. It's a really soft, pale yellow. If you don't have a pencil like that, you can just use regular yellow, but don't press hard because you don't want it to look really yellow. You just want it to look very, very soft, like a cream or an ivory color. So see how soft that is? It's very light. And then, I'll finish coloring that later, but I wanna show you how I'm gonna do the sprinkles. The sprinkles, I'm just gonna do little lines like that, little, little lines, and I'm gonna do them in different directions. So sometimes I'm going this way, sometimes I'm going this way. So there's some blue sprinkles. How about some orange sprinkles? Now there's different kinds of sprinkles. I'm thinking about the sprinkles that are shaped like this, but maybe you're thinking of different kinds of sprinkles. See how I'm doing the lines in all different directions? And I think I'm gonna do some in yellow too. So the sprinkles you could probably do with marker, or you could do them in colored pencil. All right, does that look like enough sprinkles? I think so. All right, and then for the dish, I'm actually gonna do this with a little bit of blue and a little bit of gray. 
so if you want to outline it, maybe if you have a soft or a light blue like this, you can outline it with that. And I'm going really fast, so just to remind you, you can pause this video whenever you need to and then just start it again when you're ready. Okay, maybe I'll close this off here and maybe, maybe I'll erase that one right there. Okay, and my table, let me think. I think I'm gonna do my table green just because I don't have any green in my picture. All right, so now I'm gonna finish coloring my ice cream sundae and you can watch in fast motion. Okay, so you probably noticed that I added a little bit of a background. I just put some fun little green polka dots in the background. Um, but you can do anything you want. You can put swirls. In fact, that's what I did on my painting project, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. Um, also, this came out a little bit darker than I think I would have liked. So... Uh, the gray I used was kind of dark, so you might want to use a really light gray or a just a very light, pressing lightly with your blue pencil like that and not so dark. But did you notice how I went over the gray with blue and I went over the blue with gray so that it would match a little better? Anyway, here is my painting project of the ice cream sundae. And so you can see my swirls in the background. And uh, I did chocolate sauce on this one instead of caramel. And I did the mint chocolate chip ice cream instead of the chocolate chocolate chip. So I'm gonna just show you a few things you can do, a few pointers on this if you're gonna do a painting of the ice cream sundae. Okay, so this is watercolor paper. And if you have, hopefully you have some kind of paper that you can use at home to paint on because you can't really paint on the um, sketchbook paper. The sketchbook paper really isn't meant for paint, but hopefully you have something you can paint on. And I've already drawn my ice cream sundae. And by the way, another easy way of drawing the glass dish is to just draw a big letter U. So see that? Instead of drawing the circle, which was the first way I had you draw it, was a big circle. You could also just draw a big letter U if you'd rather do it that way. But let me show you what I did in the background. In the background, I did some resisting. And you guys should all remember that word. We did resisting before with crayon, remember? And so whenever we do resisting with crayon, we have to press really hard with our crayon. If we don't press really hard, it won't work. So really hard, what I did is I drew some swirls with my white crayon. Here, this one's gonna go right off the edge of the paper. And I'm going really fast. So again, whenever you need to pause the video, just go ahead and pause it and then you can start it again. So it's really hard to see, but I drew swirls with the white crayon and I pressed really hard. And then I took my pink watercolor paint. Of course, you could use any color. 
And this only works with watercolor. So if you have acrylic paint at home, you can you can paint a sundae, an ice cream sundae with acrylic paint, but you can't do this, this part. This resisting part is only gonna work with watercolor. So I'm adding water to my watercolor paint and I'm stirring really well. And then I'm going to paint over, need lots of water. I'm gonna paint around my ice cream sundae dish, my glass dish. And see how my swirls are showing up? Now I really should have a little bit bigger brush for this, but. But that's okay. It'll still get the job done, I guess. So see how my, my swirls are showing up? The crayon is resisting the paint. Now it might not do it perfectly. It might not, you know, the whole swirl might not show up, but for the most part, it should resist if you pressed hard enough. Okay, so I'm not gonna take the time to finish painting this whole thing. You guys get the idea. I just wanted to show you a couple more things. Um, for the mint, for the mint chocolate chip ice cream, I just uh, got the scoop wet. Of course, it's got a little pink on it now because I didn't change my water, which is something you would wanna do is change your water. But then I added a little bit of green. So I just got that wet. And again, you would have switched your water so it doesn't have any pink in it. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of green. Very, very little. So that it's very light green. We don't want it to be too dark green. Just like that. And I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And when it's dry, I'm gonna put the chocolate chips in. Now, let me show you what I did for my chocolate chips and my chocolate syrup. Instead of watercolor paint, I actually used acrylic paint. So if you don't have acrylic paint at home, that's okay. You can do it in watercolor. You can even do it in marker as long as your painting's dry. But I used a little bit of brown. So I put a little bit of brown on my palette. And then I wanted it to be really dark. You know, like Hershey syrup is really, really dark. So a little tiny drop of black. In fact, that might even be too much. I just need a teeny, teeny bit. And I'm gonna mix it into my brown so that it's really dark brown. See, now that looks a lot more like Hershey's chocolate syrup, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so that's what I used when I was all done. That's what I used to paint my chocolate syrup. And I'd probably want a smaller brush for this too. So let me get a smaller brush. So here's a much smaller brush. That's a detail brush. So that's more the size that I want for my chocolate syrup. So I'm just gonna paint those drips of syrup in with my tiny brush. Okay, so you guys get the idea. They'll make this one longer, really long. Now again, if you don't have painting supplies at home, that's okay, don't worry about it. You can just do a beautiful drawing of an ice cream sundae with markers and colored pencil, and I know it's gonna look great. Uh, if you do have painting supplies, here's how I did my chocolate chips in my mint ice cream when it was dry. Now it's still a little damp, but when it, you should wait for it to be completely dry, but I just did these little little pieces of chocolate chips in my mint ice cream. Okay, so when I was done, it looked like that. For these sprinkles, you can use paint, you can use marker, 
um, whatever you'd like. And on the cherry for the stem, I did use a marker for that because that's pretty little. So I'm just gonna show you one more thing on the painting portion of this project. Um, on the glass dish, what I did is I took my white crayon, I did a little bit more resisting. So again, you have to press really hard. And I went around these long skinny ovals on the dish, pressing really hard. And you might even wanna put a little curve line right here on that part and maybe a little curve line like a smile at the bottom. And it just makes it look like a reflection on the glass, because this is supposed to be glass. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get this wet with just some water. And again, this is water for watercolor painting. If you don't have watercolor paints at home, if all you have is acrylic paint, you can't do the resisting part, but that's okay. You can still paint it. It's just that the resisting can only be done with watercolor. So now I'm gonna just add a little bit of blue. I don't want a lot, so I'm gonna spread that all around so it doesn't look too dark blue. I want it to just look very, very, very light blue. So mostly water. In fact, if it looks too blue, I can take some of it out with my brush like that. I'm just wiping it on the paper. Okay, so that's how I, how I did my glass dish. So again, you can keep painting whatever flavor you want that ice cream to be. You can paint it, you can paint your table. Um, here again is my finished painting. And if you just want to do a drawing of an ice cream sundae and you don't have paint supplies, you don't want to do the painting part, that's fine. Here's my drawing again. So if you want to do both, that's great. So I hope you had fun making ice cream sundaes with me. And I hope you all have a great week.